and she started showing me pictures of them on their hikes and all this kind of stuff. And these are literally pictures that I've already seen because my ex has sent me these pictures. And she's like, yeah, you know, because that's the kind of friendship that we have. Like, she's just like, yeah, we went on a hike. And I'm like, yes, please go take care of yourself. Find your happiness, you know. And so, like, I'm looking at all these pictures. And, of course, she, like, comes to me when they have problems. And I'm just like, look, you know, you got to work this out with him. Whatever you have wrong. And um, <clears throat> that kind of stuff. But she uh, she was very proud, and she's like, I think I think she's the one for him. And I'm sitting there just like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I just had to bottle it all up, and I was like, Prof, it's just one of those days. You know, when, when my brain gets the best of me. When my brain gets the best of me. It's one of those days that followed one of those nights, basically. But yeah, so... She was talking about how, like, oh, he's probably gonna propose to her and all these things. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, do you, if you knew the story behind these two, lady. And, um... Of course, like, I never told her. I never told her. I was like, oh yeah, I'm... I'm I'm her last boyfriend. Like, you, do you know how embarrassing that would be for her? Like, I didn't want to do that to her. She was a really nice lady. She just happened to be like a victim of consequence. No, not consequence. Coincidence. Whatever. It, uh, I, I'm saying things weird. It, uh, circumstance. Circumstance. That's That's what it is. It's just, it was bad circumstances where, where it's like she got sat next to someone who knows it, the deeper story. Um, but yeah. By the end of the flight, she was just like, well, I have these cards that have prayers on them. Like, and you know, there was just like a Hallmark card with a personal prayer that she writ, wrote inside that she wanted to give to people, you know, that like family or friends, right? And it's like a generic prayer and all this kind of stuff. She's like, I want to give this to you, though. I think I think that we really connected. And I'm sitting here like, thanks, lady. Wow, she thinks that, like, we're besties now. Heck, frick, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was a really nice person. At least to me. I've heard stories about her and her being a very not nice person. So, uh... But, you know, give everyone a chance. <laughs> Caught her on a good day. Yeah, that's a good point. I hope to catch everyone on a good day, though. Or at least, you know, if I do interact with them, I hope I can turn their day around, right? Regardless of who it is. Unless I really hate you. That's really hard for me to hate you, though. It's, it's, it's really hard to get me to, like, have an issue with you as a human being. I don't hate Mario. I just don't play it anymore. <laughs> Let me give the cutting board a quick rinse. myself with a ton of water. Let's go gamers. Let's go gamers. Okay. Actually, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. Maybe I should play Mario again.
you know? Maybe, maybe it's just that experience alone. Uh, since August of last year. Maybe it's that experience alone that has traumatized me into not expressing negative emotion. It has felt like longer, I will be honest. It feels like an entire, like, lifetime ago now. But yeah, this nice old lady talking about my ex and her son in just the nicest way. As I'm going to be the, uh, the son-in-law that they wanted but never had. <laughs> like, that's the weird thing. That's the weird thing, okay? Like, I was there to be the son-in-law they wanted, but could never get. Like, um, during the funeral, during the funeral, we're getting dark now. During the funeral, like, they put me, like, her mom wanted me to sit in the first seat. You know, like, the widow's seat? She's just like, I, I can't sit there. I'm like, y you have to. She's like, no, can't, can't you do it? Like, you're, you're really important to him. I'm like... Yeah, but you're his wife. <laughs> like, she wanted to offer it to me, not not their son. Not her, not her son, not her son. She was like, no, you were like his favorite. I'm like, you can't say that. You can't say that. I'm not even your blood, you know? Because like, they're very traditional Filipino Catholics. So like, it was crazy that as I was going there to, like, fill an obligation for that family, that I end up talking to, like, my ex's potentially mother-in-law. Oh, and they... No, I am not. I mean, I went to Catholic school for nine years, but... That just says something about my upbringing. It doesn't really say anything about whether or not I'm religious. Yo, let's go. NPR. National Public Radio. No patch restrictions, right? It's just funny because like <clears throat> over the weekend, over the weekend, you know, on Sunday when I said I had stuff to do, it was because, um, it was because my ex's family was visiting Seattle. I'll be honest. They, uh, they came by and it's really weird because like, okay. So it was very distinct, but it was her siblings, right? It was her siblings, and like... Yeah, I saw. Sub 30, prof. The, the, the professor, the professor is, is getting closer and closer to the eternal glory. Eternal glory. I mean, it's because it is the NPS of... Well... It's, it's the opposite of NPS, I should say. The Celeste version of the opposite of NPS. Well, now. But yeah, I don't know. My, my life is weird. My life is weird. I'll just say that. I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling, gang. Why are you letting me just kind of ramble on about life? It was such a meme. Um, NPS for SMO, NPS was no patch skips. So, um, it was basically back in the 1.2 days. 
like, back in the 1.2 days, it was that people wanted to play on, like, older versions of the game and uh, have, like, the same route, essentially. I have lived a life. I have lived a life. I will say that. But yeah. Yo, the good thing about Sunday was that I got to catch up with them. I haven't really had a chance to chat with them very much. They're doing pretty well, the siblings. I mean, of course, uh, being that they're siblings of my ex, they, I definitely heard stories of other things, which um, was much less savory. I mean, I don't want to air the family's dirty laundry, so... But, you know, there's still family drama there. Too bad. Too, too bad. Yeah, it's just weird. It's just really weird, because, like, I'm still their favorite. You know, they st oh, I hate this. This is the one thing that I hate the most. This is the one thing that I hate the most. I am still that, like, I am still the, the measuring stick, the litmus test, the, uh, the pH strip of which all subsequent boyfriends have been compared to. You know, it's, it's the, well, but he's not Alex thing. And I'm just like, that just ruins it for her. That just ruins it for her. Like, they're always going to compare all of her boyfriends to me. They, they just, they're always going to compare all of her boyfriends to me. And they're going to be like, yeah, but... Did they help wipe your dad's butt when he was dying? And I'm just, of course not. Of course not. That was, that, that's six years of baggage there, you know? Or like, yeah, but did they learn how to make, like, salmon, um, like, salmon caviar? Like, Japanese style, like, ikura? Like, did, did, did they learn how to do this to, like, make you know, awesome food for the family or for, you know, all, all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, no. Or uh, did, did they, you know, it's just, there's, there's so much there to unpack that it's wild. But like, I already know that like, if they get into arguments, like my ex and like her mom, like, she brings up, a, you know, how much she doesn't like, you know, boyfriend X, and why can't they be more like Alex? And it's just like, oh my gosh. Because the thing is, like, she didn't like me at first either. I'll be honest. That's usually how parents are, right? Their baby is with somebody, and it's like, they don't like the idea that, like, this person is new and different, probably. And you gotta show them who you are as a person. But like, how can they reasonably have that conversation when they're not given a chance? All these new boys, they're not given a chance. I like how I'm saying give people a chance. Gosh, see, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely a complicated situation for her. I feel, I feel bad, I feel bad. Like, no one deserved it. No one, no one deserves this, honestly. Like, the life that that family has led is just so much to deal with. So, so much to deal with.
But yeah, like being compared to anyone it really just kind of blows. Uh, pff, I say as I constantly compare myself to other people. Gosh, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. You see, I say these words, I say these words, but then my brain just turns around and it just goes, nah, don't listen to yourself. You don't need to listen to yourself. You know? My brain just goes, ha ha, you're, you're not as good as everyone else. And it's just like, please, stop. I don't want to have a complex. And then my brain's like, haha, too late, gotcha, bitch. It's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. I did not do a good job cutting this cabbage today. Okay, we have a boatload of cabbage now. Boatload of cabbage. I didn't wash the cabbage bowl. Really, I just didn't wash much in general. I only did about half of the dishes from yesterday. I was bad. I'm sorry. beginning of the year, I even put out this piece of advice. I put out this piece of advice. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially when it comes to things like, for example, streaming. You are at the mercy of other people, you know? Like, regardless of how consistent I stream, how, you know, how much I try to engage everybody and do all this stuff. Of course, like, I'm making mistakes left and right because I'm not doing enough for my community, I feel. I'm, you know, I want to I wanna do more for all of you, obviously, because, like, I appreciate all of you. You, you have, you have done wonderful things in my life. But... It, it comes down to, like, it's really how Twitch gamifies it, right? It's always reminding you of your own numbers and telling you that you're not good enough. And then, of course, since everybody's in that trap, everyone talks about how they're not good enough. Like, y'all know about this. Y'all know about this. Because all the other streamers say this, too, right? All the other streamers talk about how they feel inadequate or they're always comparing themselves to each other. Everyone's always thirsting so hard. Everyone's always thirsting so hard. All right. For today's for today's okonomiyaki. For today's okonomiyaki, we are doing mystery powder number 2. Oh god, that's a lot of mystery powder. I'm terrified. I am terrified, my friends. The terror, it has gripped me. Let us see, how how will this mystery powder fare? It is already a very interesting color. Much uh much darker than I expected. One cup one cup for half a head of cabbage? Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a much healthier way of approaching it, O4, dude. Like, I... I feel like I've fallen into the trap, you know? Like, when I started out on Twitch, I had no aspirations. But, like, the longer you go, the more payouts you get, the more you get numbers, you know? The more you have those experiences, the more it's like, oh, maybe, maybe there is something there, you know? It's like, maybe there is something there. Maybe there is that dream. The seed gets planted, right? And then you start going month to month getting payouts. And you're just like, oh wow, this is this is crazy. This is a wild ride. And then you keep going and you start talking to your friends who are streamers. And then they start telling you about their problems, their pains, their successes, you know. They start telling you about what ails them. And how they feel about their numbers. And eventually, it just kind of infects you, also. Like, I thought I was gonna be able to stay away from it for forever. For forever. But, obviously, that's not the case anymore. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it is kind of like an addiction. I mean, it's... One of those like uh, you're you're you get addicted to the feeling of you know winning. <laughs> it's like video game addiction, right? And again, it's kind of like.